Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join the class, let me explain how it works. Today our topic is a book, a movie, and a song in Austin. If you have a question during the class, you can write your question in the comments and I'll answer it at the end of the class. And I also have a few questions for you at the end of the lesson to check what you've learned and you can write your answers in the comments as well. So before we get started with today's topic, let's review what you learned in last week's class in case you missed it. So last week you were with Teacher Dell and a special guest Francois from our support team and he was talking to you about the World Cup. So we are right in the middle of the World Cup right now and you learned some important vocabulary so that you can follow along in English. So some football vocabulary, some football expressions, as well as um, some World Cup predictions. So if you missed that class and you want to watch it again, then go to the video section of our Facebook page and there you can find all of our previous classes. So you can watch them again, you can um, share them on your own Facebook page, or you can tag someone you think might want to watch the class as well. So I see a few people are joining us already. Alex and Atef say hi, hello, thank you for watching. Okay, so let me explain um, what we're talking about today. This is the beginning of a series that we're going to be doing on a book, a movie, and a song. Okay, today we're starting with, uh, with Texas, which is where I'm from. Uh, so we're going to do several cities, so talking about them as kind of a travel destination and then teaching you uh, how to improve your skills through reading, through listening to a song, and through watching a movie. So today we're going to focus on Austin, but really Texas in general, okay? So as you know, Texas is in the United States, and Austin is the capital. So um, why should you visit Austin uh, as a destination for your vacation, okay? I've done a, a top five. There are many, many more um, interesting things to see, but something really authentic that you can do in Austin, you can go swimming in Barton Springs. These are these beautiful natural springs that are really nice. Um, as Austin is the capital, you can tour the Capitol building and the, the surrounding neighborhood, which is really um, interesting. You can eat barbecue. This is one of our most popular foods in the South and especially in Texas, so there are a lot of really delicious barbecue restaurants, so definitely check that out. You can also watch the bats at Lady Bird Lake. So we have a lot of bats in, in Texas and at, uh, as the sun goes down, you can actually go down by the lake and you can watch the bats fly out of their, out of their cave. So that's a really, really interesting experience. And um, if you like dancing, you can country dance in Austin at a place like the Scoot Inn or there are plenty of other um, different bars or venues that you can go to to country dance. So these are just a few of my recommendations for Austin. There are many more. Now let's move on to our, um, our topic for today, the book, the movie, and the song. So a book about Texas, so we're going to generalize a little bit more, a book that takes place in Texas. First, let's talk about how we can learn English uh, with reading. We've talked about this before in other classes, but uh, just to review, um, the best thing to do in English is to find a book that interests you. So a topic, a genre, if you like historical fiction, if you like science fiction, find a book that's going to be interesting for you and then you'll be more likely to want to read it. Okay, choose a book that's appropriate for your level. So nowadays there are many uh, adapted books available so that you could read, if you are lower intermediate or intermediate, you can read uh, a novel at that level. Okay, so the vocabulary is adapted for you so that it's easier to understand. I recommend keeping a notebook, a vocabulary, or you could make a timeline as well, or a chart to kind of keep the characters and the storyline all organized and that way you don't get confused. I see that uh, Paul, Mohammed, and Jose say hi. Okay, great. So moving on to my book recommendation. This is a young adult book, so it's a little bit easier and it's called Holes by uh, Louis Satar. Okay, and this is a story about a teenage boy who gets into trouble. He's accused of stealing uh, some shoes from a store and he is sent to a juvenile detention center, which is kind of like jail for, for younger people. Um, and there, some interesting things happen as his punishment. He has to actually go out in the desert and dig holes. But these holes are, um, are special 
in that they have something buried in them and this uh, the warden the person who is in charge of the um, of the jail of the detention center is is looking for hidden treasure so this is a really nice story kind of fun interesting to follow and as I said it's a young adult mystery so the vocabulary is a little bit easier and the story is a little bit shorter um, so it's easier to read so that is my book recommendation obviously there are many other books um, that take place in Texas but this is one that I think you should definitely read and there's also a movie based on this book so you can watch the movie after you read the book okay and my movie recommendation, this is actually one of my favorite movies, but first let's talk about how we can learn English through movies or films. Uh, we've talked about this before. Watch with subtitles in English. Don't put the subtitles on in your native language. Try to follow along in English or even watch without subtitles if you think it's easy enough for you to understand. Um, if the movie is long, two hours or so, I recommend breaking it up into two or three a session so watch maybe half an hour at a time and then take a break so that you don't get too tired um, or lose your concentration as you're watching okay take notes uh, maybe write a summary of what you've seen uh, to remember the plot what was happening etc and make a list of your favorite quotes from movies and then you can share them uh, when you're talking with your friends okay so one of my favorite movies ever and it happens to take place in Texas is called Boyhood. So this is a movie that was actually filmed over a 12-year span. So it was filmed during 12 years using the same actors. So this, uh, this movie is about a boy. His name is Mason and it starts when he's six years old and it ends when he finishes high school and he goes off to college. So it's a really um, innovative movie in that they actually waited the 12 years to finish, uh, to finish the film and you see the same characters growing up uh, throughout the, the same movie. Okay, so this is sort of a coming of age story. So coming of age means a story about someone growing up, about someone getting older. And it's a really, really beautiful, um, beautiful story. And you can see some really beautiful landscapes and scenery from Texas. So I highly recommend this movie, Boyhood. And finally, our song. So uh, how can we learn English with songs? We've talked about that in a previous class with a, a special guest. Um, but what I recommend doing is to find the lyrics online or print them and that way you have, uh, you have them so you can take notes, so you can underline words or um, expressions that you don't understand and then kind of write the definition there. So keep a notebook with your, um, your song lyrics and vocabulary and new expressions. So, and then sing along and have fun. So once you know the lyrics to a song, it's really uh, it's really neat to be able to sing along in another language, okay? And my recommendation, this is another song about Texas. It's by a group called the Old 97s, and the song is called A State of Texas. So this song is actually about people um, or written for people who are from Texas but living away from home. So when you are homesick, it means that you, that you miss your home. So this song, let's look at the lyrics and I have a few things to point out about uh, how the lyrics are written. So here the first line, when the morning sun rises and I open my eyes, here you can see that there's an apostrophe here after the N. So sometimes in songs or even in, in written English, you can take off the last letter of a um, of a word and replace it with this um, apostrophe here so instead of saying morning it's pronounced a little bit more like morning so it's uh, it's a little bit more southern accent okay so they say when the morning sun rises and I open my eyes yeah that's all I wanna see so here we've talked about slang in previous classes so wanna is actually slang of want to so when you put those together you have wanna that's all I want to see and then we have another example of a shortened word I'm living or which is short for living in a state of Texas and Texas lives in me so here living in a state of Texas they don't mean literally living in the state here is actually like a state of mind it means that you're a Texan so that you live as a Texan would okay so now that we've done our book movie and song I'm going to ask you some questions and you can write the answers in uh, the comments okay I see Blanca says she likes the lesson good I'm I'm happy that uh, you like it okay so for my uh, my first question and write your answer in the comments 
where did you last go on vacation and where are you going on the next one? So I'm recommending uh, that you visit Austin, but where are you planning to go and where did you, um, did you last go? Okay, so tell me about your summer plans in the comments. And finally, um, what's your favorite book, movie, and song? So um, is, if you have one in English, that's great. If not, then um, in your own language, what is your favorite book, movie, and song? Okay, so as you are writing your answers, let me tell you more about our course here at ABBA. We have a complete course from beginners to business level featuring 144 units. Each unit has a short film, a video class explaining the grammar, and then exercises to help you improve your English. So if you want to sign up with us, join millions of other students who are studying with us, you can first try uh, out our free version which gives you access to all of the video classes as well as the first unit of each level. And then if you decide to go premium, you'll have access to all of the course content and you'll be assigned a teacher like me who you can write to anytime you have a question. And if you study with our course, it's really flexible in that you can study from your tablet, your PC, or your Mac, your smartphone, and your, uh, your progress is saved on all of those devices. So it's very, a flexible way to study anywhere, anytime, even when you are on vacation somewhere, you can take your English course with you. Okay, in addition to our course, we have many other resources for you to uh, practice with. Our blog is called our ABBA Journal, and there you can find articles about grammar, about um, English for business, um, culture, travel, all kinds of really good information there. We have a YouTube channel, so you can find even more videos on YouTube, and we have a Twitter page and our Facebook page where you can participate in our weekly live streaming classes and find interesting articles posted there as well. So now let's see who is joining us, if anyone else has a question. And uh, if not, I encourage you to keep writing because I will check your comments later on today um, if you are still thinking about what you might want to write. Let me tell you about next week's class. Teacher Dell is going to be back with you and she's going to tell you about pronunciation mistakes and tongue twisters. So if you don't know what a tongue twister is, then you can find out next week. So I hope that you can join that class. Uh, remember, you can turn on your notifications on Facebook to receive a message anytime we are live streaming. So do that to remind yourself. And thank you so much for participating. So keep writing your comments and I hope this class has been useful for you. I hope it inspires you to travel a little bit more and obviously improve your English through books, movies, and songs. So take care and, uh, oh, I see we have one comment. Uh, someone is joining us from Colombia, and they said next time I would like to go on vacation to the USA. Okay, I think that's great. So thank you, Jose, for your comment and um, take care everyone else and we will see you next time. So bye.